there have been calls from former India players to drop Virat Kohli from the international setup based on current form. What do you make of that? Look, it, 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 it's been an unusually lean run for Virat. I think we'll all put our hand up and, and admit that. And he's probably he's probably the first one to put his hand up and admit it. But I think, you know, if I was an opposition captain or an opposition player, I think I'd be fearing playing an Indian team that has Virat Kohli in it more than I would be having a team that doesn't have him in it. Um, and I know there's been some challenges for him. It's, it's been a difficult time, but every great player that I've seen in this game has been through it at some stage, whether that's a batsman, whether it's a bowler, um, they've all been through it. And, and somehow the best find a way to to rebound and respond. And I think it's only a matter of time before before Virat does that. I mean, but the other thing you risk as well is if you leave if you leave Virat out on the eve of a T20 World Cup and someone comes in and has a reasonable tournament, you know, it's hard for Virat to get back in it. So I would keep, I would, if I was India, I would keep pushing with him because I know the upside, if they actually get him back confident and playing as well as he, he can, the upside is better than most. So I, I would, I think if I was a captain or a coach around the Indian setup, I'd be making life as easy as possible for him to feel as comfortable as possible and and, and just waiting for that, for him to flick the switch and start scoring runs again. So then if India were playing their first group match of the T20 World Cup next week, would Virat Kohli feature in the playing 11? Yeah, he would in mind, yes. For, for all those reasons that I just said then. Um, you know, if they, especially early in the tournament, first round game, you know, get him in, get him in nice and early, get him in amongst the runs and then, and then hopefully by the end of the tournament you have Virat Kohli back at his best. That's the way that I would look at it. I, I wouldn't... I wouldn't think about holding him back at the start of the tournament with the thought that you might be able to bring him back towards the back end and, and having, you know, peak tournament play is not like that. You need to work your way into a tournament, get some runs under your belt, get some confidence and then, you know, be playing your best cricket at the back end. Do you think pushing up, pushing him up higher the order would be a good idea, maybe opening the innings? Yeah, I, I guess you've still, got to find, you've still got to find the best balance for the team. You can't just make the team all about one person and I know that they'll they, they probably sh should be trying to find little ways to get him back into form and to help him out, but that, that quite often will come at someone else's expense as well. So you're moving someone else around to try and find a spot for Vera. Um, you know, he's batted open batting and batted at three, hasn't he, in IPL the last couple of years um, and done the same for India. So, um, look, I, oh, m moving him around to me actually sort of makes it, ma would make him feel like people are worried about him and make him a little bit more unsettled. And I'd be going the other way. I'd be just telling him, this is your spot. This is where you're batting. You, you know, it's going to change. Just keep, keep believing in yourself. Keep putting in the hard work. Keep understanding what made you, you know, the, the, the best player in the world for a number of years. Get back to those thoughts and feelings again, and then the runs will come.